Hey everyone, in this tutorial we're going to take a look at how you can adjust the color of vector objects in your project. Cartoon Animator 5 allows you to import and utilize SVG files, which are a vector format able to utilize color grouping. This provides a lot more options for color adjustments. Let's get started by going into the free resources category in the content manager and double clicking to download the free embedded actor pack. Here you'll find a number of new actors that are in vector format. I'll quickly add this front-facing Johnny character to the scene and enter Composer mode, which is used for character and prop editing. You'll see your character's bone structure as well as the various layers in the Layer Manager. On the left toolbar, you'll find the SVG Group Editor, which allows you to arrange your shapes or sprites. In this case, the actor has been organized into two main parts, clothing and character. If you pick one, the corresponding parts will be highlighted on your character. You can also expand the main folder to see the various subfolders as well. This character is embedded content, which has all of the body parts organized into practical groups. Beyond the subfolders, you'll find specific parts and their respective color swatches will be revealed on the left. In the embedded characters, you'll generally have line and fill items beyond that, which can be adjusted as well. Okay, let's exit out of the SVG group editor and enter into the SVG color adjustment tool, which will allow you to adjust the colors. You'll see the same grouping list here. However, in this tool, you'll be able to adjust the colors of each of the items. I'm going to start off by selecting the bottom group and then clicking on the color swatch to choose a dark blue color. Once you choose your color, there are also basic adjustment parameters you can tweak with their respective sliders as well to fine tune your result. If you hit reset, then everything will go back to the default settings. Let's look at the hair, which is a bit more complex than the simple pants here. I can pick the front hair part directly from the viewport to start and then adjust the color using the same process. I'll also select the accompanying shade part here and then use the pick screen color option to choose that same pink and then adjust it slightly so it doesn't clash as much. We can then select the back hair part, which has a similar structure and reduce the opacity value to make it disappear for a totally unique style. If I want to make the eyebrow color similar to that of the hair, Use that same pick screen color option and then further adjust the appearance by using the brightness parameter. Let's move on to the outfit now. You can see if I expand the group that it's more complex and contains a number of customizable subparts. If I select the top group hierarchy and change the color, you'll notice that it will change all of the subparts as well, resulting in a single flat color for everything. To give it more detail, I can multi-select all of the line items in the subparts and adjust their brightness simultaneously. I can then select the sleeves group and take its opacity down to change it to a cutoff hoodie. The pants are arranged similarly as well. You can see that there are multiple subparts here that can also have their opacity adjusted to change the outfit style to capris or shorts. You can also use the invert checkbox to quickly define opposite color values to all of the items in a group, and then further use the parameters to tweak the result to your preference. Finally, there's also a skin tone group that you can adjust to alter your character's skin color. This is the best way to do this. That's really about all there is to tweaking the colors of your vector content by using the SVG color adjustment tool. You can also define these groups yourself by using the SVG grouping tool. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to check out our other vector related tutorials on our Reillusion Courses page. I'll see you in the next video.